on guys welcome back to the channel so today we're going to be doing so i did just buy these from from autosome so these are the let me see i'm show you guys these are the fits gm 38428 so these are the door strikers um we have our like hell fucked up so i'm gonna be trying to put these on right now so let me get the stuff and then we'll go ahead and put them on So to install these, all you need is a couple Allen wrenches. So I have my set right here. I'm just gonna pick out the size. And then like a drill or a socket wrench, whatever you wanna use. And then I'll show you guys where it goes right now. So aquí tenemos la perrona. So dirty. Just washed it barely like a couple days ago. It's from the field right here. All the dirt just freaking comes on in and shit. So, so this is the part I'm gonna be changing right here. So I'm not sure if these, if I gotta keep this back piece or not. So this is the piece right here, just the Allen wrench. So it goes right here. So this is the called the door striker. So mine's all messed up. I have like electrical tape. So I got like a electrical tape and stuff on here, just so I can hold, cause my door be bouncing around and stuff. So I did manage to get it off. So. As I said, it was just the Allen wrench. Just take it off with this big old piece. So, show you guys the difference. So this one is a little bit thicker right here, which is what I wanted because this one, I had electrical tape on it and it was already grinding it down right there as you can see. So it is the same way to put it on. Everything's the same. Just gonna reuse this back plate right here. This back plate, this one just goes right here like this. So this goes over. All right, let me try to install it right now and I'll show you guys after. So I did end up having to take this off. This is a side plate that goes right here on the side. Can you see my finger? Right here on the side. Cause it does have like this washer thing in the back, like back here. So mine did fall when I unscrewed this. So I had to get it from down here and pick it up and just hold it, screw it in. It's pretty easy. This is what it looks like after. So now I just gotta do the same thing, but on the other side. Same process and everything. So now I'm on the other side. So as you can see, this one was on life support. Look at that. Just rubbing the whole top and everything. I have the electrical tape on this side too. So it's just gonna be the same process and then I'll show you guys when I'm done. So there's how this side came out. This side actually came out better than the other one. So I have it all installed and everything. Check this out. Okay. What what OBS you know closes like that? Look at that. You no force. I used to have to slam this door as hard as I could, and it still wouldn't even close. Yeah, so it was a pretty easy install. Um, it was about twenty bucks from AutoZone. I'll put the link in the description to buy them. Uh, easy install, just one screw and that's it, or whatever you would call that. And then, um, I'm sure if you own an OBS, you do have the same problem as me, that the doors were shaking, they shake when you drive, and stuff like that. So, this worked for me, I'm not sure if it worked for you, but just an easy little install, 20 bucks, worked for me. So, that'll be it for today's video, thanks for watching, please like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more.